Welcome to another episode of Done is Better Than Perfect. I'm your host, John Grubbs. Welcome to the show. I want to take this moment to thank all of the subscribers, all of the fans of the show that have been sharing comments with me, that have been giving me feedback about the content and how this show has impacted their lives as leaders, as people, as, well, a way of helping them get stronger as they go throughout life. Now, before we get into our topic, we're going to share something funny in the news. So this is from The Wire, September 24th. A runaway herd of spotted cows made a late night visit to a Wisconsin brewery famous for its spotted cow beer before being captured. Yes, spotted cow beer. The new Glarus Brewing Company shared secret security camera footage on Facebook showing the 16 Holstein cows that unexpectedly made an appearance in the brewery's parking lot in the early hours on Monday. Yes, this actually happened. Some spotted cows came to visit the home of Spotted Cow, the post said, referring to its popular Spotted Cow beer. Drew, Drew Cochran, Chief Operating Officer at New Glarus Brewing Company, said the brewery's private security firm spotted the cow or the many cows wandering the parking lot about 1.30 a.m. on Monday, and a sheriff's deputy was dispatched to the scene to help round up the wavered bovines. There were no damages. They ate a bunch of grass, Cochran told the Milwaukee Journal Sentinel. We had a little cleaning up to do when they left, and probably that's not unexpected. The cows were rounded up and safely returned to their owner. So, here's the question. Do spotted cows read, or do spotted cows like beer? It's in the news. So, for today's topic, how to disagree with your boss. Now, let's be honest. Most people suck at this. Why? Simply put, we are afraid. We're afraid of losing favor. We're afraid of making the boss angry. And here's probably the most common reason most people are afraid of, com well, of confrontation. We don't like to confront people anyway. So let's consider this really carefully. What does a good boss want on her team? Who does a good boss want on her team? Someone who makes the team stronger? Someone who sees things differently? Someone who is confident? If we never disagree with the boss, what do they really think about us? So, look, I know this is scary. However, there is a way to disagree without being disagreeable. There is a way to speak truth to power. There is a way to put those big boy pants on and stop allowing fear to rule your life. You know, I'm going to give you a lifeline today. We're going to discuss four ways to disagree with your boss and live to tell the story. Stay with me until the end. You don't want to miss these. So here's number one, get an agreement up front. Here's what you can say. You can ask, can I be completely candid with you? Or may I be brutally honest with you? And get an agreement. Make sure that they say, yeah, sure, or of course. These conversations are best done in private and most of all when emotions are calm. You don't want to confront your boss in a meeting or <clears throat> call them out in a meeting that would embarrass them. You want to do this in a culture that, well, it, it allows the boss to save their face and still look strong to the rest of the team. Here's number two. Explain your intention. Say something like, we may be missing something here, or there is another option that we're not considering, or what if there's another way to do this? These are about the situation and not the boss, and they're far less threatening to the boss. Sound cool so far? Here's number three. Be respectful before you disagree. Say things like, ultimately, this is your decision, or I will support whatever you decide. This avoids being confrontational and keeps you informational. A good boss wants to make informed decisions. And here's number four. Thank the boss. Say things like, thanks for considering another approach, or 
Thanks for being open-minded about this. Thank them even if they don't accept the new idea or opinion. Remember, we are leading up and you want to reward the boss for good behavior. Now, let's recap. The first thing you do is get an agreement up front. Number two, explain your intention. Number three, be respectful before you disagree. And then number four, thank them for the consideration of another view or another idea. Nobody likes yes people. However, how you say something is critical to your success. You've got this. You can do this. If you like this video, subscribe to the channel and ring the bell for new shows. We are on a mission to make the world a better place one video at a time. Share your comments below. Share ideas for other shows. I want to know what you think. This is a show for recovering perfectionists. Those of us that live with the guilt and shame of not living up to our own expectations. And always remember that done is better than perfect. I'll see you next time.